Hey ladies and gentlemen, Steven here from Red Adolescence. I want to thank you all for tuning in. I got Carlos with me today. What's up? We're going to be reviewing a fragrance by the House of Creed and this one is called Cedra Blanc, so stay tuned. Now before I start the video, I do want to mention that this bottle was sent to us for review by Max Aroma. Uh, the folks working over at Max Aroma are super genuine and generous and I love getting fragrances from Max Aroma because they're in Long Island City. And they're a couple. They are actually, yeah. Husband so, and wife team. So this fragrance was released in 2014. I remember when this line first came out, people were talking about it left and right. It seemed like the one that was getting the most play is uh, Asian Green Tea. I love that one. <laughs> I really That's do enjoy that one. one of my one. personal favorites from the collection. Yeah, and you know who turned me on to that? Uh, Al from Street Sense. Cool. He loves that one. But then he started talking about Vetiver Geranium. So That's I'm a like, good one too. So good. Uh, so I quite enjoy everything from that line, even the Iris one, which is marketed for women. That's the only one from that line. Iris Two Bros? Iris Two Bros. That's... So they were all released in the same year, so obviously the folks over at Creed, whether it be Olivier or Irwin, very hard at work. And this one is called Cedra Blanc, which translates into White Cedar. Just a gorgeous presentation off the bat. You have the gold plate on the front, you have the uh, French inscription written on the back, and... The box is, I believe, the same size as the original Creed fragrances, uh, or at least the 3.4 sizes that um, are available right now. But uh, So the line is called Aqua Originale, so the original waters. And um, this one is based, of course, off the note of cedar wood, uh, but it has cedar wood, it has bergamot, it has bay leaf, galbanum, which kind of gives like a green vibe, but... Um, I suppose we'll start with you, Carlos. What do you think about the smell? What kind of occasions and what does it conjure for you? It's definitely everyday type of fragrance. Yeah. It smells very clean. It has an herbal nuance for sure. Mm -hmm. And basically very clean and fresh, which yeah. is a trademark of Creed's, of course. Always of course, yeah. A lot of freshies, which are enjoyable. This doesn't smell very complex to me. It mm -hmm. smells rather linear and simple, but yeah. in a good way. Yeah, I would have to agree with that. Um, despite the name Cedra Blanc, I get more the Blanc than I do the Cedra. Um, I actually don't get too strong of a woodsy presence from this one. Typically when something has a strong dose of cedar, I find it very sharp and piercing. Exactly, yeah. Like, and that's not here <laughs> at all. Uh, Super Cedar by Byredo, Mr. Marvelous by Byredo. Like all of those fragrances, you smell the cedar, it's woodsy, it's I'll tell you, it's Cologne has jacky. one in the blue collection. Yes, they do. Yes, they do. It's um, really like shavings, wood shavings. Yeah, yeah. But with this one, um, more of an emphasis on, I think, the bergamot and the galbanum. And like you said, it's clean. Right? So it's like fresh out the shower, clean. And that's part of like Creed's DNA. That's their trademark, if you will, that, you know, they kind of have this natural appeal about them and they have this freshness, this underlying freshness that just makes them so easy to wear and so approachable. Um, what about occasions? Every day, I'd say. I don't think I would wear it for date night or club. It's an everyday, easy breezy, right. no brain of fragrance. Whereas a lot of people find a freshness in Dior Sauvage, yeah, that's like a shower jelly, right? Kind of fresh, which stays on skin that way. This has like a post shower clean and airiness about it. And I do have to agree with you. There definitely is a casual vibe about it, especially considering if we're talking occasions, right? Usually, if it's something that's expensive, you want to save it for the higher end occasions. But I know this is available on Max Aroma, and mm -hmm. you can get it for a pretty affordable price. Are they competitive in their pricing as opposed to other online retailers? I would say so. I mean, I've used a few personally, mm -hmm. and now Max Aroma seems like the go-to place since okay. Latino is down temporarily. So I recommend them. Cool. Yeah. I'll have to check them out. Yeah, and they are in Long Island City, New York. So okay. I get my packages in like two or three days. So that is awesome. awesome. Yeah. So honestly, I really do enjoy this scent. I think it's one of the easier fragrances to wear from the House of Creed. If you're looking for something a bit more, I want to use the word obscure or abstract and complex, maybe Silver Mountain Water might be your thing. This is simple. There's no complexity. There's nothing challenging. And sometimes... That fills a spot in a need. I don't want to smell <laughs> so strong every single day. Sometimes I want something a little milder, a little more laid back, 
This to true. me screams white t-shirt and jeans. Yeah. Yeah, but like you said, even if you're casual, you can still dress it up with your fragrance. Absolutely. You know, as opposed yes, to wearing something true. like you know, just something very generic and overplayed and, you know, at least, you you know, you're wearing a creed and mm. it gives off that vibe, you know? But all in all, I really like it and I want to thank you for being on my channel and Anytime, for being on this my, one with me. My absolute pleasure. I miss you. You just I came know, back from vacation. <laughs> <laughs> I had a great time, but I'm always thinking about fragrances. I actually bought two. Um, on vacation? Yeah, on vacation, yeah. Which were? I bought Scandal by Jean Paul Gaultier, all right, which you, is a we women's We texted release. back and forth, so I didn't know that. I forgot. Yeah. <laughs> And then my wife also really liked um, Moschino's Cheap and Chic I Love Love, which kind of smells like light blue, but it's okay. more fruity. So I bought that for her. It was like 30 cool. bucks. Yeah. How did the uh, Soleil Blanc work for her? She loved it. Yeah, she loves She's a fan of like the more tropical coconut ylang ylang scent. So. It's a Latina in her. Probably is, mm -hmm. yeah. All right, everybody. Thank you so much for tuning in. Once again, if you are interested in checking this out or any other Crete fragrance, links for purchase will be down below. Check out Max Aroma. They have a lot of great deals. And I will try to update these videos as often as I can because I know they're always running promotions or they have like a coupon code out there. So if I know of one, I'll mention it in the video. In this case, if I see one online, I'll put it down below. Also, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel as well as Carlos's channel Thank for you. a lot of top tens, reviews, giveaways, unboxing, special guests, and anything fragrance related. Remember to enable notifications by clicking on that little bell so our uploads get sent straight to your feed and you never miss any of our videos. We love you guys. And also vote.fragrance.org. Vote for us. We appreciate it. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.